A main factor from my childhood that influenced my current career path was my mother. She had a studio at the Torpedo Factory. I remember like countless times where I'd be sitting on her floor and I would just make stuff. And it was like so much fun and so simple. Like it was mind blowing and it was uh, mind opening too. The process works by taking glass tubing and glass rod and manipulating it in front of the torch. So basically, once you put that glass to the flame, you are able to see the heat slowly sink into that glass, and then it is at that point that you can manipulate it into the shape that you desire, and it's, it's magic happening in front of you. And it's very much a methodical process where it's not something you can just like throw together, it's something that you have to plan and like be articulate and precise where you're going to put those two components of glass together in order to make a healthy seal, one that's going to be stable and stay there. A lot of people ask, like, are you happy as an artist? But I don't think happiness is a point in life that you reach. I think it's more of a moment. When you get a, a piece out of the kiln the next day and it turns out exactly how you want it to, and it's like flawless. That's a very rare fleeting moment. And then you'll notice that there is an imperfection in it because just seeing that thing that you thought was perfect, you'll actually like push yourself to see like where is an imperfection. Sometimes you have to step back and look like, you know, I am human and those smaller imperfections that make it a beautiful handmade object are what are really valuable and what are really like heartful in the material. And the best way to um, to control that is to like keep those imperfections and use them to your advantage and use them in a way that accents your artwork.